Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Mini Kit Guide. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to collect all of the mini kits in the fourth level of The Force Awakens Star Killer Queen. Before we get into the guide, it is worth mentioning that you must unlock free play in order for you to collect all of the mini kits. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the guide. The first mini kit is located right here near this catwalk. You will see that there are some railings for you to grapple onto by using either a hero, astromech droid, or bounty hunter character. And to the left of that are two areas on the wall where you need to use the scavenger character's net launcher to deploy nets on the wall. So once you have deployed the nets, grapple up to those railings, climb up the railings, and then climb onto the nets. Then climb to the top of the nets and you will be able to collect the first mini kit. The second mini kit is located just down the hallway from the first one. You need to get into this room, which means you have to destroy the golden locks on the door, which also means you have to use a bounty hunter character, because bounty hunter characters can destroy golden objects. When you get into the room, you will notice that the mini kit is trapped in a glass box. What you need to do now is use a Jedi or a Sith to use the force on this box to lift the box into this hole. What you need to do is you need to destroy this glass box, and in order to do that, you need to use the trash compactor, which means using the two turnstiles that are in the room to collapse the walls onto the glass box. Now the thing to keep in mind when using these turnstiles is that they're kind of finicky and a little bit glitchy. You'll have no problem using the first turnstile to move the wall into position, but when you get over to the second one, sometimes your character disengages from the turnstile. To solve this problem, while you're using the turnstile, turn the turnstile very slowly. Because for whatever reason, if you go too fast, then your character disengages from the turnstile like I said earlier. So once you have used the trash compactor and put the walls in the proper places, the glass box will be compacted between these walls. When that happens, the parts for the mini kit will spill out of the box, so then you can go ahead and build the mini kit to collect the second mini kit. The third mini kit in this level is located in this section of the hallway that looks like a V. You will see a portion of the wall that needs to be cut open by using a lightsaber, so either a Jedi or a Sith can cut open this wall. So, once you cut open the wall, it will reveal the third mini kit, so you can go ahead and collect it. The fourth mini kit is located over here at the end of the hallway. You will notice a villain console for you to interact with so you can open a door. This means you need to use either a villain character or a hero disguised as a villain to interact with the console. In the room, you will see the mini kit trapped in a silver box, so you need to throw a grenade by using a villain character or a hero that is disguised as a villain to destroy the box. And once you destroy the silver box, the parts for the mini kit will spill out, so then you can go ahead and build it to collect the mini kit. And finally, the fifth mini kit in this level is located near the end of the level. As you're escorting Captain Phasma at the end of the level, she will open a door into a room. When you enter that room, turn to the right and destroy these Lego objects over here. And when you do that, there will be some parts on the ground for you to build an astromech droid console. Once you have built the console, interact with it as an astromech droid and a DJ table will start playing music. Wait a couple seconds after the music starts playing and you will see the diorama of the Starkiller base in the middle of the room open up and give you the fifth and final mini kit in this level. So now that you have all of the mini kits, make sure you finish the level to save your progress. And when you collect all of the mini kits in this level, you unlock the Starkiller Base Micro Starship. Anyways guys, that is it for this LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Mini Kit Guide. If you found this video to be comprehensive, straight to the point, and useful, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world. World. May the force be with you, always.